Welcome back to Star Stable. We have a very, very important, long-awaited quest. Yes, it is time to finally save Fripp. And Fripp got a new look. Poor little guy, here he is. He's been sleeping like this for like so long. Like it just seems like forever. I can't speak to him, we can't talk to him. He's just laying here. It's finally time to save him and have him wake up. Isn't that right, Avalon? Hmm. Yes. But before we do, I need to go and get a very, very, very special horse that I believe will help me in this mission. And I am talking about the free horse that you get. I'm finally able to redeem her and go and get her. So let's race all the way up to the top. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this day for so long. And now the day is finally here. Yes, you can actually earn a free horse in Star Stable. It takes forever, but it's so worth it. Here's the horse right here. Oh. Who's so cute? So you can see right here in this like flame burning that the last reward to collect is the free horse. <laughs> I'm so excited. So here's all the rewards that I've collected over months and months and months. And the very last one is now this last horse. The Rune Runners are specially trained star breeds ridden by the wild wardens of the north. This will be your own Rune Runner. So let's do my last training. Finally, I'm gonna be a good enough rider to ride with the Soul Riders. Yes, all right, that's it. It's time for the free horse. Ready? Get your Rune Runner horse right now, claim. Yes, I'm so excited. <gasps> Looks like Rihanna has something to tell you. Achievement unlocked. Dream fighter. Yes, that was it. All right, let's go talk with her. Hello. Cannot do this quest while on horseback. Dismount. Hey, Rihanna, what's going on? Wow. The bond between you and your horse is so strong that I can almost see the light of AD. You truly are a master in the style of soul riding. What do you say we hold our own little graduation ceremony? <gasps> Look at how much money you're going to get. And how much XP and horse. Oh, this is so great. Yes, celebration. Oh, and the other soul riders are here too. Look at my horse small play. I'm here to celebrate. Hey, everybody. Wow, congratulations. Wow. Oh, if only Fripp were here. Today is a monumental day for us all. Hmm, yes. It's so exciting. Wow, I can't help it. I'm getting all teary-eyed in my hood. She's been training rigorously under my watch for a long time. And in the art of soul riding, I can say she is now family. I have found myself a dear friend. Someone who inspires me greatly. Thank you for all your hard work in protecting Jorvik from danger. Together, they have truly mastered the way of soul riding. A round of applause, please. Yes, I'm clapping for myself. Wait, I'm the only one clapping. Here, flowers for you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Now, through months of dedication to learning the way of soul riding, you now have the understanding of the ways of the druids of Jorvik. As a token of our gratitude and in celebration of the magic of Aideen's gift, we would like to give you the opportunity to bond with another companion that we druids hold close to our hearts, a rune runner. <gasps> I will love her forever. Oh, she's sniffing the flowers. So this is it. This is the Rune Runner horse. All right, so here she is. Here's the horse. And the name I picked out is Miracle Runner. I picked it out months ago whenever I saw her. And now I'm so happy to finally give her her name. Welcome, Miracle Runner. Here she is. Here's that magical, mystical beauty. Oh, I love the free horse. I think this one is absolutely stunning. Look at the furry body. The tail is kind of held up and out of the way because you know you're going to be going on some epic journeys and adventures with this horse. Look at the little ears. Oh, and the green eyes. And then that coat, the little pattern that is like designed into it is really, really sweet. Just totally a unique horse. Like this will be one of the most unique horses in your stable if you put in the time to get this free horse. She's just so sweet. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. Now it's time to go save Fripp. So we are off. Here we go. Put some tack on. Got my little kitty in the bag. Meow. All right, Fripp. Here we come. We're ready. Hey, do you mind if I can bum a ride off you in your brand new rune horse? Alex texts me and she and Anne are riding at the orchard down by the fire road. Yay, thank you. And by the way, I'm so happy you got your new rune horse. Miracle Runner, how amazing. Thank you. All right, let's go. Well, that's kind of interesting that the hair animation does kind of glitch through her eye just a little bit. Holds on tight. Whoop. There's the orchard straight ahead. Oh, yum. Apples. Yeah, they're my favorite. There they are. Maya, you made it. Yeah, I'm gonna go up and get an apple, okay? Ooh, I'll take an apple too. These look so tasty. Ugh, picking up apples. What a waste of time. I don't like eating them. I like strawberries. I feel like there's something off about her. Fine, how about we make it a challenge? Why don't we race to pick up the zapples? I mean apples. She calls them zapples. Soul riders and soul horses, ride out. Look at the apples, they're so tasty. She wants an apple too. She's using magic on them. Oh, 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 
I don't know if that was such a good idea. Oh, I had to pick up the zapples. We're still calling them zapples. Oh, now I get it because they look like they got zapped by magical lightning. I don't know. I wouldn't eat these though. Who knows what's going to happen if you eat them? Oh, there's a donkey down there. So have you guys heard about Fripp? There's a new quest we can go on together. <gasps> Cell phone. Who could it be? Come, it's Fripp. He's getting worse. You just have to come right now. <gasps> Something's happening with Fripp. Come on, let's go. Wait, we can't just leave this little baby horse here. Come on, sweetie, let's go. Yeah, come on. Oh, she's following along. She's so cute. Finally, we're going to go and save Fripp. I mean, how long exactly has Fripp been like resting for? Feels like it's been years. All right, we're here. All right, the portal is starting to open. We're in. Come on, you guys. Let's go check on Fripp. Hey, how's he doing? <gasps> he's moved. He's not in the same position, and whoa, he's had a glow up. <gasps> what is he doing? He's fading away. Oh, this is bad. You can see right through him as if the world is rejecting his very existence. It's not fair. He gave his life so that you could find me, but I never got a chance to say goodbye. He's not gone yet. Hold on to hope. Hope doesn't solve anything. <gasps> yes, it does. So there's nothing we can do to help him? It would take a miracle. A miracle runner? Guys, there has to be something. We always have to have hope and never give up. You're right. We're not powerless. We're soul riders. Yeah, that's the spirit. We gotta have hope. Poor little Fripp. I mean, isn't there something we can do? Isn't there like a spell in this book? Could the answer be found in the Pandoria Codex? I've read it cover to cover countless times. All this book contains are rules of what we can and cannot do, just like on Earth. Something, maybe one of these crystals, like this one. Is there anything else around here? Oh, maybe this crystal. Oh, what's this? There's something inside of here. This is like Beauty and the Beast, a five-leaf clover. I'm clapping. Could we do something with that clover, Avalon? Hmm. The five-leaf clover we took from Yidris, of course. Oh, wait a minute. We took it from him? Maybe he has some sort of like magical locking spell on it. <laughs> of course. We've been so focused on druid magic, but there are other ways. A clover? What's so special about a clover? The witch used clovers like that one to make horses for dark riders, right? Yes, and according to Yidris, this particular clover is doubtfully potent. Do you think it could help Fripp, Evergrey? I couldn't say. It's more powerful witchcraft than I have mastered. But for Jorvik's witches, a talisman like that is capable of working powerful transformations. Transformations? Let's try it. But who would know how to use this power? Ooh, who should we ask? Okay, we could ask the witch. We could ask Yidris, since the clover did come from him. Or Mrs. Holdsworth, because she's a grandma. And she's got, like, grandma tales for, like, hundreds of years. I don't think we should talk to the witch, because the witch could give us false information. Yidris also kind of plays games. Mrs. Holdsworth's memory may not be what it used to be. Maybe Yidris. You would trust him after he turned you into a horse? You could have stayed in that form forever. Yeah, but that's okay. Let us pray to Aideen. We never need to involve him again. Okay, maybe Mrs. Holdsworth? Oh no, we're gonna have to go to the witch, aren't we? Mrs. Holdsworth, yes. Loath as I am to consort with witches on such a delicate matter, I do not object to speaking with her. Then it's settled. Agata and I will ask Miss Holdsworth to come. Okay, they are like kind of superstitious of Mrs. Holdsworth too. Is she also a witch? Is that because she like makes things and cooks things and bubbles things in a brew? Hang in there, Fripp. We're trying. Oh, you're right on time, dearies. I've already packed. Wait, what? You knew we were coming and you're packed? But of course, I've known you'd come to help me for ages. I have nobody else who comes visit me. Come on, we're almost out of time. We might even be too late to save Fripp. Dearies, I'm never late. It's the other one I'd be worried about if I were you. Other one? Who? Convincing him of the urgency won't be easy. Oh no, not him. Wait, who? Who are we talking about? Yidris. We need a witch's expertise. Can you tell us why we need Yidris? He's a magician. A miracle like this requires a very special circle. Trust me, your little furry friend's fate depends on it. Bringing a witch into the secret stone circle is one thing, but Yidris? Avalon's not gonna be happy. He'll get over it. Avalon's a total pushover. In that case, Alex, you should help Miss Holdsworth get back to Fripp. While well, Agata and I will take a trip back up to the circus. Hop on, Grandma. That's very kind of you, dear, but my bees and I know the way. Well, at least we can trust Miss Holdsworth. Imagine if we had gone to the witch. She would probably would have turned one of us into a bug. Come on, let's go up to the circus. I hope Yidris has forgiven us since last time we paid him a visit. What have we here, back for an encore? Yidris, we have a problem. And time is not on our side. It's Fripp. If it's time you're looking for, I have none to spare. It's your wisdom we seek. My wisdom? Oh, Memchari. I hope he helps us. Leave this to me. I think I can cut through his Pandorian charms. Hmm. I don't see why you obsess about time so much. No matter how much of it you have, you're always in a hurry. What is it you want this time? Another horse? Because Z is not for sale. Our dear friend from Pandoria. He's fading from our world. And we're all out of options. Oh. Come, let's take this somewhere more private. 
I am well aware of the one called Fripp. If the rodent's sick, then you should find someone else to help him. Perhaps an herbal tea. I run a circus, little doves. I am not a veterinarian. Without Fripp to guide us, the earth is in danger. We need him to understand how to restore the balance between, between the worlds. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear in our last encounter. It's curtains for your earth. Show over. You don't mean that. If you didn't care for Jorvik, why have you stayed here for such a long time, entertaining us? Have you not tried my caramel corn? Ha, oh, and there you are again, talking about time. Have you not learned? I care not for humans' obsession with time, only obsession with me. Come on, the lamest showman doesn't have any real power. He's all smoke and mirrors. We don't need him, let's go. Ooh, I wouldn't say that. He's very powerful. Smoke and mirrors? Listen to yourself. How about I show you? First you need me, then you don't. You're like a spiteful little butterfly. Hmm. You want to be the star of the show? So you shall be. Neither of you are leaving until you've learned your lesson, little doves. What is he doing? Oh no, he's gonna do magic, so we should never question his magic. Oh no, what's he doing? Oh, butterflies. Oh, they're so pretty. Gotta help me. Wait, did you turn her into a butterfly? Ha 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 ha. There she is, she's back. I can't believe it. You turned me into a cloud of butterflies. There has to be someone Yidris cares about besides himself. Oh, man. His sidekick. You'll help us save our friend? Oh, thank you. We don't exactly want to see Yorvik go up in flames either. We want to turn the whole entire world into our stage. So if I can be the star of the show, that'd be great. Oh, <gasps> see, she's so beautiful. Whatever help you can give, we'll take it. Are you a friend of Fripp? No more questions. Don't tell Yidris I'm talking to you. I know everything. You cannot hide from me. There's absolutely no way you convince me to help your little rodent friend. <gasps> He's trying. She wants to help Fripp. No, I am not helping any rodent. <gasps> She's angry and beautiful at the same time. I love how she glows. Fine. Anything for my horse. Come on, your little blue friend needs my help, and I alone can save him. Wow, a horse made you change your mind? I mean, a moment ago, you were complaining about us coming to you for help and boasting about how amazing you are. Yes, I am quite amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. Z's even agreeing. They all, like, love Idris. We should get a move on to the secret stone circle. Avalon's going to flip, but we don't have any other choice. <laughs> the show must go on. Hmm, an unwelcomed Pandorian troublemaker in this secret place. Words do not even begin to express my horror. So, this is Yidris. I've been itching to meet this impish showman ever since I returned from exile. A Pandorian living among humans. Amazing indeed. There's something familiar about you. The clownish veneer is new. But those eyes, I've seen them before. Perhaps in my nightmares. We've met before, haven't we? Hmm, I don't like this. Well, we could say he's not a creature, he's just like us. Don't look at me, I don't want him here either. Or Fripp is more important than your drama, definitely. He could be useful, he's very powerful. Hmm, yes, Fripp comes first. I suppose we can put aside our differences for his sake. It was my idea to invite Idris here, not theirs. He can help us save Fripp. Yes, that's a right. I will take center stage and save the critter. Who are you again? Hmm. Mrs. H, how are you? You still making those delicious pies? Come on! We need to start saving Fripp! Now! I mean, honestly, why does Idris need to be here? He's a creator of chaos. Who? Ugh! Mrs. H, come on! Is anyone else not quite following this? Step aside, everybody! Let's get moving. My knowledge of my home world is indeed needed on such an occasion. <laughs> All of us here together, it's like a magical parfait. How poetic. I want a pie. Maybe I can use the five-leaf clover. No, it's for Fripp. So whose powers are we going to use? Yerdis is one, but now we need two others. That would be Yerdis, me, and Agata. Me? I'm I'm going to be helping Fripp? I'm powerful? I mean, anything to save Fripp. Fripp would be very proud of you. Hey, has anyone noticed that the five-leaf clover is missing? I knew this would happen. Well, I ate the clover. So that path is now closed. We need to find another. Wait, she... She ate the clover? Grandma wants to tell a story, a fairy tale. Mrs. H, read the room. We don't have time for fairy tales. Come now, we mustn't waste any more time. Wait a minute, maybe we can restore Fripp with some hope. Who could help us find Pandoria's hope? Why don't we just all believe? Okay, they want us to either talk to the witch, Nick Stoneground. Ooh, we should talk to Nick. 
Okay, but really, honestly, every time one of these little questions pop up, the witch has been in there. We probably have to talk to the witch. Even though I'd rather talk to Nick Stoneground. That's it, Nick Stoneground has explored Jorvik far and wide. Yes, I wonder what he has rattling around in that old fridge. <laughs> have fun in the snow. Tell my good friend Nick I said hi, and that we'll have a sandwich together sometime. Oh man, it's gonna be cold. Wait, do I have a jacket with me? Okay, I'll just have to wear this. At least I have a jacket and some jeans packed. It's gonna get icy cold. Say goodbye to summer. Hello, winter. We're here, we made it. My, 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 if it isn't Agata the YouTuber. Oh, who is this new friend you brought with you? Oh, <gasps> you have a rune horse. Perhaps my refrigerator has something to do with your friend being sick. Wait, wh your what? My fridge. The little fellow's been acting a bit jumpy all day. I'm sure if Evergrey's involved, he's gonna want a sandwich, but let's see what else we've got in there. <gasps> oh no, it's running off. I got it, I'll get the fridge, I'll get the fridge. Oh. Okay, why are there thorns coming down? It's like somebody doesn't want me to catch the fridge. Oh, I'm stuck in the snow. Oh, there it is. Oh, my refrigerator. Yes, I want to reach in and grab a perfectly wrapped sandwich. Well, I'm happy you got your fridge back. All right, we've got the refrigerator here on the island. It's going to help us save Frep. Now, let's take the refrigerator, place it in the middle of the circle, and Frep must lie beside it. All right, place him in and let the magic begin. I will be doing the magic. It's my time to shine. All right, there he is. Is that him in the picnic basket? Idris is doing the magic. She's creating sunflowers and feathers. Oh, petals. I'm pointing, doing magic. Oh, something's happening. This is gonna totally work. He's gonna be perfectly fine. <gasps> What's wrong? Ooh, something was on me. The refrigerator. Uh, I don't know if that looks good. Oh no, everybody's gone. Uh, just Linda and Yidris and I are here. Was that supposed to happen? There was a portal that took Lisa and Miss Holtworth. Mahaha, <laughs> yes, little doves. I'm going to go get a sandwich. Au revoir. All right, I guess it's just the two of us now. Let's bring back our friends. She's doing magic. <gasps> there it is, there's the portal. We need to close it and fast. All right, let's close it. Here we go. All right, the portal is closed. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Fripp is okay. Earth, I'm, I'm back and I'm alive. I can see the grass in the sky. There's so much that has happened since you've been gone. First of all, Agata got her rune runner horse. I'm back and I'm kind of hungry. Well, I'm going home. I'm going to make more pies. It's a delight to have you back. Yay, Fripp, I'm so happy. You are finally back with us. We're back at his home. Wow, it's good to see you again. Just so you guys know, Yerdis now has the fridge. He could do anything with it. We have to stop him. No need to worry. It's just a rusty old fridge. Fripp, was that a joke? I mean, hopefully it's okay that Yerdis has the fridge, right? Oh, <gasps> us little Pandorian treasures. Carry a piece of magic everywhere you go with these Pandorian treasures. Fripp gifted these to you as a token of appreciation for helping save him. Thank you, Fripp. He's giving it to me. I appreciate it so much. Wait, I bow, right? I don't know. <laughs> Let's check out these Pandorian treasures. Sorry, kitty. This is so sweet. There's like a scroll. There's a crystal in there and a book. Oh, that's so amazing. That goes so perfectly well with my horse. Fripp is saved and I finally, finally redeemed for this brand new horse. Let me know in the comments if you have already gotten this horse. What did you name your horse? And I hope Star Sable adds in more horses that you can actually earn in game by just putting in the time. That would be really sweet because all the horses right now cost star coins, AKA real money. So it would be really nice to see them as items that you can actually earn in the game. This was just so awesome. I'm sending you so many hugs and horses and positive vibes, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!